welcome to Working on Fire News. My name is Noel Molokwane, and we're coming to you from Parliament in Cape Town, where we're here to listen to Minister Edna Molewa's budget vote. In the news this week, Minister Edna Molewa spells out what the new budget holds for environmental affairs and working on fire. August is Women's Month, and we spoke to some of the women who are with Working on Fire who gave us some inspiring messages. Shadrach Mudluzi has been given an opportunity to join the Midval Municipal Fire Department. Nyaupe is a drug that is currently ravaging the country. Find out how Tepo Toto overcame his addiction with the help of working on fire. Nelson Mandela left us a huge legacy and working on fire honored this great man on Mandela Day. Congratulations on your budget vote. Thank you so much, Mayor. Minister, if you can tell us what has been the impact of working on fire as a program within the department and in the South African environment. Let's look at the downside first. Uh, South Africa could have lost so much of its vegetation and therefore so much of its ecosystems. If it wasn't uh, possible for the Working for on Fire program to be implemented. We know that uh, there's uh, been the saving, saving of forestry to the tune of 640 billion rand, just from the work that Working on Fire does. And that is quite enormous. It means, therefore, we're able to restore our ecosystems and then we're able to really ensure that South Africa becomes as green as it is right now and really enjoys so much of its ecosystems, which are the services of our life, which are really required at all times. August month is a celebrated month in South Africa where we honor women. Recently, these, there's been several appointments um, to the provincial office and a lot of these opportunities were filled by females from working on fire. For example, we appointed a health and safety assistant, Refuwe Mugapi, in the end of last year, as well as Matapela Lakoma. She's assistant stock controller. She was a store person at one of our bases. We also have Maria Lecholo and Marta Tepu, who is T3 dispatchers. Now, with this year's recruitment, we also appointed um, two females into the T3 dispatch position. I would also like to encourage all female work firefighters to apply for any opportunities within the program. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities that Working on Fire offer. And if your opportunity does not come along today, I'm sure it will come along in the new, near future. As much as we make a couple of rich wing, re aiming come out to a reconnoir, he battle a book, people will be taking it for the family star owner for everybody. A lot of us want to go back to come here and my people are on a one mega say bank. Come we believe that we can do it. We are powerful beyond measure. So, a couple of a list of link on the liberty and carriers alone. The battle and hurry, the fit of any guy, the honor of the regular man alone. Thank you. So my message is that we must speak out and we are be proud of our son. If you want to be a firefighter as a woman, we are not going to Here I am and I am proud of you. Being a woman in this man's so-called field is not an easy thing to do, but if you are motivated, passionate, and dedicated, you can always uh, achieve whatever you want, despite the challenges. If you can just motivate yourself and be yourself, just be yourself, that, then I think that's, that's the thing that will, that, that's the main thing that you need to keep in mind. Just keep yourself motivated they are motivated, then you'll definitely achieve whatever you want in life and never give up. 
Here's this message to all firefighters. Never say I can't if you haven't tried. I can't never work until you have tried. You can, there's no failure if you haven't tried because everything you can, you can do it. You still can do it. It's just that you, you, you were not willing to. Have that willingness in you, have that motivation in you and have positive people around you so that you can have all those things. And to those uh, who have kids and single parents, never give up and always lift yourself up. Never get discouraged in life. Never, never let your life stop wherever it is. Let, let, let yourself be an inspiration to every human being or to your child also that, you know, um, I'm from this person to this other person. And never stop um, believing in doing something that you desire. You can do all things that you want. And if you believe, everything is possible. As the minister mentioned that working on fire is a very youthful program and more than 30% of female firefighters and next month is Women's Month. What message do you have particularly for our female firefighters within such a, a dominated by male industry? I like the leadership part of the women in working on fire. <laughs> I mean I've seen them in action literally saying to these boys hey hey come let's do it let's really move. It's, it's very impressive. Keep it up, girls. The sky is the limit. Shadrach Mzuli went from working on fire to now being employed as a municipal firefighter. I was working in a nature reserve that called Mount Savannah Nature Reserve, whereby working on fire was based there in Kruger's Dock. So I was working as a mechanic in, mid in, in Mount Savannah Game Reserve. So after that, in 2006, they, they advertised the post. After that, working on fire, they took me and I was going for the course that called the Feld and Forest Advanced Firefighting. After doing the Feld and Forest Advanced Firefighting, they took us to Pretoria to help there to do the big burnings, like the uh, construction lines. And after that, yes, they took us to make some level three first aid course. When we were at Hraskop at Madiba, or short base in, in Sakekhraskop. We were there for three months. In that three months, we were doing the course of uh, structural firefighting so that we can be able to help uh, our local municipality and the fire department ar around the South Africa. After that, we do the course Firefighter 1 and Hazmat Awareness, and then working on fire took us to Midval uh, Fire and Rescue Department. Midval were giving us a lot of experience for rescue, for even for doing the structural firefighting. After that, Midval took me and Joannis Moriba to took us into Velcom for doing a firefighter one and firefighter two and hazmat awareness and hazmat operation. Midval, when they advertised one post for junior firefighter, I did apply and then after applying, I, I've had the call so that I must come to interview. I went to interview and then we went the fitness test everything for fire department the requirement that they need for a junior firefighter after a few weeks they called me and said now nah, i'm a successful candidate for midval fire department i'm feeling proud because of if it was in working on fire i was not able to be in the stage where i am now because of working on fire took me from the ground i was having no qualification nothing but since working on fire grown me up in 2006 on the 10th of april as a field and forest firefighting i was getting more experience and, and i was having more qualification even working on fire took me to different schools to do my qualification even now so now i'm happy with working on fire i will say thank you for working on fire is the one that built me to be a, a junior fireman in midval fire and rescue the Midval team in Gauteng received the Centrum Guardian Award for rescuing 26 people from a bus accident. The team at Midval were awarded the Centrum Guardian Award for their contribution to the rescue of 26 people after a horrific bus accident took place on the R59 intersection to Verenigen and Alberton. Firstly, it was shocked uh, because uh, it was for the first time for others to be on the, on the uh, scene like that. And then you find that others we do have experience, but we have managed to work together as a team. To nominate actually, there the, the was the judges who nominated the, the, the best 
accident uh, or the best scene uh, or, uh, during that year or during uh, 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 the, the, the before the, the, the competition starts uh, there is a, a shooting from Centrum visiting every fire station that has uh, uh, that has experienced the huge uh, 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 incident or accident so that uh, they can nominate the best uh, uh, accident or the best team uh, for that year. Uh, the money uh, bought the equipment of the station okay. as well and then including some of the uh, and then in maintain the vehicles as well and then others bought the uh, I can say entertainment or the cutleries of the station for the kitchens as we, we use the kitchens and then need things to be maintained or, or bought something that we can use it. Working on fire helped Tepo Koto overcome his drug addiction. Hello, this is Tepo Samuel Koto and this is Working on Fire News and this is my story. A new drug epidemic is emerging in South Africa involving a substance used to fight AIDS. Addicts across the country are crushing up and devouring the life-saving drugs just to get their fix, destroying other lives as well as their own. It's a terrifying drug cocktail that's hooked South African youth. They call it Nyaupe. When I was about in grade 10, going to grade 11, we had to register before we went to grade 12, like to register for grade 12 so that when you get to grade 12, you're already registered with your particulars and everything. But in my case, it was kind of hard and different because growing up I had a problem with an ID book, a green book. So I couldn't register and everything due to that. And it gave me problems trying to apply for it time and time again, keep on being rejected every time. So we came to a point whereby meet people as a teenager, you meet friends, you do all sort of things and like, so without having the green book, like it was the way which I, uh, I saw, I couldn't be, we couldn't be able to proceed with my registering. So chilling with friends, started smoking cigarettes, daha and all that, and then introduced to Nyaupe, then started smoking, smoking and smoking and smoking, till just couldn't take it anymore. And a friend who was also smoking with me, who also introduced me to that, like gave me advice on it. So from listening to them and advising me about quitting and everything, it just clicked in and then just realized that like it wasn't good and everything. So it's when I started, started to tell myself, no, better quit while I have time. Side effects are without having it, you, you just can't get the day started. For you to get started to be normal again, you just need to get a quick fix. Then from there on, you can go ahead. But then it tends to make you slow. Your thinking, your talking, everything you do is slow. It slows you down. While I came to working on fire, I was on the process where I was, I told myself I was quitting, but the body, it was hard for me to let go of it. But after coming here, with the fitness test and everything, it helped me a lot because it helped me like reduce the drug and everything in me. So at least now I had something to focus on. You know, sometimes when it comes to drug and things like that, you need something to replace it. So when I came to a on Vaya, I found the replacement for the drugs. And then it was like my remedy for quitting. Nelson Mandela left a very important legacy. Here's how our province has honored this special day. Uh, today we are here at Nobody Village. Uh, we are celebrating um, 67 minutes for Mandela, which he obviously stated before passing away that we should give back to our community. Limpopo Wharf Management took time to visit Amazing Grace Daycare and Rihauhezo Old Age Center. They renovated the building of the center by painting all the walls. The team entertained the elderly in song and dance. The dancing was so much fun that the grannies joined the team in dance and didn't want to sit back and just watch the awesome show. 
kutusha sichaba saka bona sabathu babanzi ba holo holo rena mo magaeng a re na tlhokomelo ye ka lo a re tshibathu ba kwa segweng kwa wa di tropong so ke bona wa tem mo mo botse wa gore etela mo mana meseng megaeng so e rena gana gore e go gopela gore kwa khopela gore a ba tshwele pele ba tlhotle ba thusha sichaba sa Africa borwa ga holo holo mo se se gaeng se se gaeng children of the center also entertained the working on fire management Working on Fire TV met up with Minister Edna Mulewa and asked her about this day. What is your message and why is this day important that we honor it? Mandela was a, a real environmentalist at heart. And indeed, right even before his presidency could really say and show that he loves this environment. It is therefore important and we really appreciate it that the president chose cleaning and taking care of environment as one of the key areas of work that we've got to do in honoring Mandela. And it is important that every one of us give 67 minutes of your time, just 67, not much, of your time. If we do that throughout the country, our country will really FFA operators will be honoring the special men and women who make all the difference in the world of fire management by introducing the annual Heroes Awards. Nominees will be those remarkable individuals making significant contributions to fire management by actions of encouragement, volunteer or their philanthropic efforts. The Heroes Awardees will be someone who clearly goes above and beyond the call of duty, living the values of FFA operations in one or more of the following areas. Natural disaster response and preparedness, rescue operations involving the saving of life and property, acts of courage, self-sacrifice and bravery. That is all that we have for you in the news this week. Please remember to keep on watching Wolf News. See you next time.